<sighs> Welcome aboard the Intergalactic Dream Express. Thank you, Conductor. One-way trip to the Whipped Cream Galaxy for me, please. Sure, sure. But I gotta warn you, this is the Express Train. It's fast, there's a lot to see and all, but the trip can be a bit... <sighs> rough. Who knows? We might wander into a dreaming space pirate territory, or crack a bump into space junk? <laughs> so, before we pass the point of no return, why don't you look into slower, peaceful local trains? Or the famous Solar Hyper Express, perhaps? I do not require silence or peace, nor am I in a hurry. I look forward to seeing the many wonders of the universe. Therefore, I will stay on this train. An excellent choice indeed. It's just like that alien said. The direct route may be the fastest, but is rarely the most fun. Alien? Eh, you know, passengers from places so remote you've never heard about them. I'm sure you'll meet them on your trip. Alrighty, it's time for me to head to the driver's cabin. Make sure you're in your seat for ticket inspection. When I stepped on the cold stones of the City of Wizards, I could not imagine leaving it with such peace in my heart. To have the leisure of choosing which route to take is a pleasant surprise. Yes, a new journey awaits me. A journey to find my place in this vast universe. My seat is in the waning moon car, number 41. Right there. Hmm. There is another passenger in my seat. I beg your pardon, but I do believe you're in my seat. Q? <clears throat> choo choo! Dear passengers, brace yourself for ticket inspections. Please have your tickets at the red. Huh? Are you asking me to shake your hand? No, I would like to see your ticket. They are persistent. Very well. Yes, yes, I am pleased to meet you too. <clears throat> if I may, what is all this commotion? Conductor, uh, this passenger is in my seat. I asked to see their ticket, yet we can't seem to understand each other. A misunderstanding, huh? I thought you went ahead and got yourself an alien friend right away. Let's see what we can do here. Um, hello. Do you have a ticket that looks like this? Oh, wonderful. Yes, yes. And your seat is right next to you. Good. Should they move to their original seat? Care to explain that to our dear friend here? Worse. It's your lucky day. The generous conductor shall pardon you this one time. Just take their seat instead. <laughs> mm. Thank you. I beg your pardon, but you are squishing me. I... This was supposed to be a pleasant trip. Tom? Tom and Dad? This trip is turning out to be quite different from what I had in mind. How interesting. I didn't realize. I do not know what it is like to have a pleasant trip. Tom? Just one bite, and y'all feel the power of the sun within you. Next up, star flower crisps are a specialty. They will make your dough strong like the stars. And last but not least, Somni Soda. A bottle will keep you awake no matter what. It may cause slight drowsiness, though. May I have three packs of crisps and three bottles of soda, please? 
Starflower crisps? May I have a pack as well? Sure thing! Here you go! <laughs> Is that how you consume this? Uh, I don't mean to be rude, but you're eating it the wrong way. You have to take off the wrapping. Oh, uh, 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 <coughs> uh, thank you. Take off the wrapping. You are eating it the wrong way, too. Mm -hmm. You can taste the star particles. Crunchy. I quite like it. First time trying the star flower crisps? Haven't traveled much, huh? <laughs> Brave of you to take the express train. It can get pretty rowdy, you know. That's right. I heard those space pirates are causing quite the ruckus. Choo-choo! The next stop is Beacon Star Station. I repeat, Beacon Star Station. Famous for its bright, luminous star. The doors are on your right. Make sure you take your belongings with you. This is where I get off, lad. Oh, dread. A bottle of soda left. Here, try this. Is this for me? Yes! Yes! Share it with the Space Donut! It's important to stay hydrated on your journey. Take it! Have you heard? The next sector is occupied by Space Pirates. The space turf war between the Milk Stashes and the Captain Blackbirds has been going on forever! And they're not the only gangs! I, I see. Got a capable lad like you will manage. You even met a travel buddy. You know the saying, good company makes a better journey. Even if you can't communicate. <laughs> Safe travels. Good company makes a better journey. Donut, would you like me to open the pack for you? <laughs> You're already done. You dropped your ticket. You are heading to uh, any place where you can hide from the flow of time and crushing gravity. Is that an actual station? Yeah. Your ticket, it's odd. It's not, uh, qua, it's do. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. Take your ticket to the train conductor. The cookie over there going choo choo from time to time. The doors are closing. The doors are now clo- Huh? What's that? <sighs> Hurry up and close those doors! A bunch of weirdos are coming your way! storming the train. Choo -choo. These oddballs were only attacking this car. I saw it on my way from the driver's cabin. They kept yelling, Nut, Donut, Dough. Utter chaos. Huh. Of course. You there? Donut! They're after you, aren't they? Who are they and what do they want? Donut, don't. Donut, donut. Right. An acute observation, Conductor. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Anyways, emergency situation at the station. Escape. I mean, departing right away. Fasten your seatbelts because this is where the ride gets huh, real bumpy. Maybe try holding on to something as well. Watch out. Some of them have made it inside. Space Donut! Roll out of here and quick! Hide! Take cover! It's not safe there! 
A lot? We might have to get off here and hitchhike. Emergency! Emergency! A group of not dough travelers approaching! What? Ah, oh, Dread. I thought we lost them. They grew in numbers. Everyone, brace yourselves! <laughs> Over? Is everyone all right? My train? Ah, my shiny new train! Calm down. A train can be fixed. But, but if they keep doing that, there will be no train left to reach our destination! We'll have to make a detour all the way back to the Dream Train Depot, and then begin the run all over again. Space Donut, perhaps don't you have anything to say? Yeah? You see, my precious train is about to get smashed into crumbs because of those weird thugs! Boop, 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 boop. It's the conductor's duty to make sure the train isn't harmed. It pains me deeply to say this, but... Dear Space Donut, please pack up your belongings and... Make sure you stay here safe and sound. Gotcha! Unknown vessel detected outside at 11 o'clock. Do you know how many space pirates I take care of on a weekly basis? Stardust Cookie, right flanked by the Green Star. Attack! There to witness the wrath of the stars! A capable conductor, I see. The meteors aren't too shabby either. Wait, that shadow. Do you recognize them? I... I think I know who that is. A space criminal genius notorious for brainwashing his victims and disposing of them once they've done his bidding. <gasps> oh, yeah. I know him. Upon encounter, you'll lose consciousness and then wake up in the middle of nowhere. Or so they say. You're looking at him right now? The mastermind behind those weird attacks is no other than... Dr. Evil Glaze. I'm flattered. I presume there is no need to introduce myself. Now tell me, where is Donut number 325? Is he talking about you, Donut? I must admit, even your name is peculiar. Ooh. Oh, ah, Lord. You've come quite far for a Donut. Miss me, number 325. Yep. How unfortunate. You almost managed to slip away. Just think of it. A bit farther and I would have... I would have had 
to ravage this entire universe. Uh, uh, uh. I understand you're upset because the donut here went missing. But surely you realize that you're overreacting. Stardust cookie. Psst. Stop talking. Number 325. Did you know that your test results came back on the very day you ran away? Did you know how infuriating it was to realize that the fool that got away was the other half that would make me complete? Ah, bitty, 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 bitty. <laughs> Surprised? So was I. All these years, all this time and effort it took to abduct over 300 donuts, experiment on them, run tests. All that to find the right one. And when at long last I found the donut that would complete me and help me become the almighty cosmic donut, it ran away. Can you imagine how I felt? <laughs> Why are you trembling? Step aside, Flatster. Just look at how you've spoiled this donut. How dare it hide from me? A donut's highest honor is to become one with a donut ball, transforming into the cosmic donut. You dare stand in the way of this? No. You will not stand in the way of me taking over the universe. So, this space donut here must really be that important to you, huh? I mean, you're already strong enough to destroy a galaxy or two on your own. Theoretically speaking, it could cause major trouble for us if he got his hands on this space donut, right? Like. The universe exploding, or worse, the dream railway system. Wait a moment. Space Donut? <coughs> that fellow there. Is he a QQ or a poo poo? Poo poo. You heard. The donut wants nothing to do with you. I suggest that you take your cosmic donut business elsewhere. <sighs> How tiring to deal with such inferior, brainless beings. Donuts, take care of them. We are returning with number 325. Metto, 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 metto. Stardust Cookie, we can't just let them take Space Donut away. I suppose we have no other choice. We must fight. Come on! Are you unscathed? I'm fine, but we better put an end to this and fast. Ah! Oh boy! Oh God! Don't. Do not be frightened. Hide behind me. Ah! <laughs> Perhaps you should focus on protecting yourself first. You may be strong, but your powers are nothing compared to mine. I could crush you right now if I wanted to. Crush me? I might have been the one who tried to destroy a city, but you sound awfully violent. Speaking of, perhaps you should reconsider your decision to obliterate the entire universe? It will not make you feel better. I know from experience. Ha! You pathetic flatster! You think you know anything about me? The audacity! Ugh. As soon as I fuse with number 325 and become the Cosmic Donut, I shall destroy your galaxy before anything else. <laughs> and if you try to escape to a different star cluster, I will simply follow you and destroy it too. And should you run away to another galaxy, 
I'll crush the whole thing into pieces myself. <coughs> Donut. <laughs> what did you just say? <coughs> has made you lose your mind. How dare you speak like that to me? So, is someone gonna tell us what they said, or... <laughs> How dare you aim your donut beam at me? <laughs> Everyone, get on the train. Now! Yeah, we need to leave before he returns back to his original self. Run! Ah! All aboard! Choo-choo! <sighs> <sighs> Dr. Evil Blaze looked ridiculously powerful. But you simply turned him into a donut. Ooh, just like that! A donut! And away he rolled away. <laughs> That's right. You made him roll away. Biscuits and treats of all flavors, thank you for traveling with us on the rather bumpy Dream Express. The next stop is the final destination of this train, the Western Sky. Once the train stops, make sure to leave the station as soon as possible. We lost those pesky donuts, but they might be back. Looks like it is time to say goodbye. Over there, outside the window, is a faintly glowing galaxy. It is most likely the whipped cream galaxy, where our ways part. Yo, donut? <laughs> My apologies. Your language is still foreign to me. I wish you the very best, Donut. I would like to believe you wished me the same as well. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please, do not cling on to me. Danger does not pursue you anymore. Travel freely, wherever your heart wishes. Wait, you understand me now? What's this creepy noise? Everyone, get off the train! You're mine! Oh, so persistent. Let the donut go already! One step closer, and I will brain glaze every passenger on this pathetic train. Brain glaze, like brainwash, but donut style. The reason why I haven't used my nut donut dough beam on you, pathetic creatures, is because I didn't want to delay the coming of the cosmic donut. <gasps> I admit, it was reckless of me. After all, we're talking about becoming the supreme overlord of the universe here. I can't believe I actually listened to your incessant whining just to bring my victory closer. It doesn't matter anymore. Number 325, I shall grant you the honor of becoming part of me. I will consume you and become the strongest being in this entire universe! Space Donut, fight back! Use your Duda! <laughs> Let the Donut and the Donut fall converge! What is this? It suddenly became completely dark! No. No, no, no! This isn't supposed to happen! Stop!
stop firing your donut beam number 325, or we will turn into a useless little donut. Stop! Stop it right now! No! We're nearing infinite zero! I said stop! Stop it! No! Mama! Mama! Space Donut! Stardust Cookie, wake up! <sighs> Were you all right? I gotta admit, that was quite the shockwave, but I didn't expect you to pass out like that. This is a dark vortex. That was not a dream. Dr. Evil Glaze's plans to become the Cosmic Donut failed. Yeah, yeah. Can you lend me a hand here? The train is gonna get sucked in. Milky Way Cookie! Everyone, hold on. I will try to pull the train out of this vortex. You don't have to sacrifice yourself to save us. To like flee? No. Buckle your seatbelts. We are leaving this vortex together. Our destination awaits us. All of us. We're going to explore the galaxy together, sharing snacks! We made it! But we got caught in a gravitational slingshot. We're gonna accelerate way beyond the maximum allowed limits. Stardust Cookie, hold on to the train. We can use this boost and escape. Hurry. You go ahead. But what are you gonna do? Dr. Evil Glaze and the Space Donut are probably as small as a single particle because of all that ridiculous pressure. Neither light nor time exists within the vortex. Not even the slumbering moon's power can reach there. I know. It is called the Horizon of Fate because no dessert has ever returned from a vortex. But I must look beyond the horizon. What? Stardust Cookie! Dr. Evil Glaze tried to stop the donut beam, but having jammed the beam, he must have caused instability instead. If only I could try and push Dr. Evil Glaze away. Yes, I too know that feeling, wandering across the void, without any sense of direction, swept away by a vortex, feeling nothing. Moonlight Cookie, I can only wonder what you were thinking. But you came to save me. What was your reasoning? I want to save the Space Donut. The Donut still... still does not know what Starflower Crisps taste like. Unpacked! I managed not to crumble away. Oh, you're awake. You looked like you needed some rest, so we didn't wake you up. Milky Way Cookie. What happened to the Space Donut? Are they okay? The Space Donut? They're right next to you, silly. Do you know how hard it was to get them off of you? <laughs> donut, wake up! Oh? But... <laughs> Space Donut? made it back. Good. So, where are we? All uh, right, <laughs> about that. So, it's a conductor's sacred duty to deliver her passengers to their destination. 
I've already mentioned that. Yep. But <laughs> I may have uh, broken the Dream Express a little, a bit with the Ultra Turbo Light Speed Mode. And uh, we had to crash land in this um, <laughs> random place. Stardust Cookie, you're up! Yes. Do you know what happened to Dr. Evil Glaze? Dr. Evil Glaze uh, passed out, I think. So we just left him there. <laughs> He's probably floating around the galaxy. Let him have a taste of his own medicine. Yeah, I'm sure he can hitchhike or something. <laughs> you know, Stardust Cookie, I, I was so worried that I wouldn't be able to say thank you. That's right! Thanks so much, Stardust Cookie. You know what? From now on, you get a free lifetime supply of snacks from my cart. Stardust Cookie, we are saved because of you. Thank you so much for not giving up on us. <laughs> and thank you for the soda. I may not be where I originally intended to be. Nor was this the kind of journey I had in mind. And I most certainly did not expect to meet such company, but this is nice. It was a terrific trip. Stardust Cookie. Gyu -gyu, gyu -gyu -gyu. Huh? What are you saying, Donut? It better be good, because we're totally having a moment. I believe they said they want to take a dip in the ocean over there. <laughs> The space donut is running towards the sea. Is that really what they said? Why? Answer us. Oh, <laughs> I think I will join them. I've never seen an ocean before. Can I take a bag of crisps? Of course. And have a soda if you get thirsty. Huh? What? Uh, but you're gonna get all soggy. Uh, looks like the space donut dropped something. Should we give them a bag? It's their train ticket. Waiting moon car, seat 42. The destination is... Uh, wait. I think it's getting rewritten as we speak. The new destination is... Anywhere in the universe. Yep, yep. Another satisfied passenger. <laughs> huh. And I know just the place to recommend. <laughs>